indeed. And I know that I said it's all about the journey and not the destination, but I have to tell you that the destination feels pretty good as well, doesn't it, Vim? And we picked up on his tracks just after you left us. I say we. Herbie picked up on his tracks going south along the Mwati drainage line. What do you see, Vim? Ah, whereabouts? Hmm. It was a lovely bird, but it has unfortunately flown away. There is a certain inevitability to that. So, we've got the lovely Tingana. We found him. Herbie actually said to me, these tracks are very, very fresh. And as he said that, I saw him up in front of us. Which is amazing. Now, this is where knowing your leopards is relatively important because we know when to push and when not to push. And it was very important with Tingana, absolutely not to push the situation. Shungile and Hosanna are perfect on foot. Karula is lovely on foot to an extent, but Tingana is not. He is not a, he's not a leopard that is comfortable with people on foot. As soon as he saw us, the re only reason I saw him was because he was getting up to move away from us. And that's why we've come back and we've fetched the vehicle. So if you're wondering, because of course, yes, this is bushwalk, um, and absolutely we'll trade out places. As soon as Brent gets here, he's welcome to come and sit here. There's a good chance that Tingana is going to start calling at some point, but we had to come and approach him in the vehicle. There was no way on earth we were going to get you a view of Tingana on foot. He was just a disappearing patch of spots. And it's very important because if we tried to walk him again one more time, he would have got up and moved and he would have kept moving and he probably would have crossed south out of our boundary. Now, the fact that we saw him, moved away, got the vehicle and came back is kind of exactly um, how we wanted things to play out. Hey boy, are you panting? Now, I've been thinking the same thing, K.L. Swift, and it is lovely to hear from you. Thank you for sending through your question. K.L. Swift, you want to know whether or not Tingana would be a threat to Shungile. My instinctive response to that is no. I don't think he would do her any harm. Um, they've been seen sharing kills together. They've been seen many times together with their mother, with Karula. So I don't think so. And of course, Tingana is most likely the father of Shungile. But then, strange things do happen. Luckily, he's actually quite far south of where Shungile was, which is perfect. I mean, he's moved away from where Brent's left Shungile. Hmm, is he a threat? Probably not, but strange things happen, unfortunately. It's just one of those things. We saw Tingana, we know that Tingana killed Shaluva for no apparent reason, that female, older female leopard. Ah, it seems as though Brent is on his way to join us as well. This is marvelous. He can come and swap places and we can continue our bushwalk with what little light we have. I'm quite, I'm quite reluctant to leave now, Vium. Mm. I know. I want to stay here. <laughs> this is our left sighting. No, that is the job of bushwalk, is to find things and then to lead the vehicles in. I was just concerned the reason that we, one of the reasons why we came back straight back to the vehicle was because we didn't want him to disappear. And he hasn't. Hello. <laughs> right. What we're going to do is we are going to send you over to Brent, who has just arrived, see how he feels about this particular sighting. And I'm going to see how on earth I'm going to get out of here. Well, isn't this exciting? Uh, I was going so slowly sneaking through, but I didn't realize they were on Maggie the Mahindra. Um, <laughs> Sorry? I, uh, He's a very sneaky guy on foot. He's probably one of the most difficult leopards uh, we have to track on foot. Um, he really doesn't like to be, be seen on foot. And uh, I'm just gonna move back a little bit so Jamie can get some space to get out. But he's just off here. Now, we do love Maggie the Mahindra, but she is not the quietest car and not the easiest car to off-road through the bush with because she's 
she's long and we, we've got these short wheelbases so we can follow through very tricky areas although Shongile went into such a tricky area we had to leave uh, uh, and uh, if I have to leave then you really know you can't get a car in there uh oh it seems like Maggie the Mahindra doesn't want to start yeah. <laughs> uh oh VM looks very upset about the car not starting He's got a big smile on his face. <laughs> oh, there we go. Maggie, Maggie has come to life. Okay, let's wait. Do you need me to move? Uh, it looks like there's enough space for Jamie to sneak through. <laughs> well, bye guys. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Here we go, off they go. Um, if you're heading back towards um, Voyatella, yeah. just she might pop up on Twin Dam. She went into that really thick stuff in the Timboeti thickets. Okay. Cool, hey, good luck. Hello, Fatty. Now, after seeing a very small leopard like Shongile, we're now sitting with the opposite end of the scale in Tingana. He is a massive male. Rolf, Rolf. So Rolf is desperate for leopards. And Rolf, uh, if you come onto Batelier Road, you go past the small mud wallows uh, and then turn south, um, you should get our visual. Uh, he's, he's stationary at the moment. Firm Tingana. There he is. Now, as what Jamie was saying just before she, she left there is she hopes he calls. So he is the dominant territorial male in this area. So if he does get moving, and we at the, that right time of the day uh, where we hope he's going to sit there and he's going to go give us a loud rasping roar uh, to proclaim his dominance over all the leopards around here. But for now, He's having a snooze. And of course, he stole that Impala kill from M Mvula, so he's looking quite well fed. And you can see the, the heavy panting 